Hi everyone, today we are going to do a stretching routine that will help you not just to lengthen your muscles, increase your flexibility, but also create more mobility in your joints like your ankles, your knees and your hip area and also a little bit of your lower back as well. So I hope you enjoy this. If you have tight hamstrings, tight calves, or you just generally want to have a little bit more flexibility, then I hope this routine will help you. So the first thing we're going to go into now is what props do you have at home? Now, if you do have a flex band, then a flex band is fine for this, but you do want to get one of those thicker ones. Uh, or if you have a, a thin one, you could just double it up like what I've done here, so that you still get a little bit of tension to be able to support your legs later all right now if you don't have a flat span do not fret here i have a little cloth i'm actually using my child's swaddle cloth and this works just fine so what you need to do is just bunch it up a little bit and make sure that it's long enough for you to hold it in this way all right okay so let's get started with the routine i am going to begin first with um, doing this sideways so that you can see me better so i'd like you to start with the cloth or your band just wrap around the balls of your feet this way and just make sure that you have enough length on both sides for you to hold on to the band so from here we're going to start with your legs together sitting up nice and tall first so we take a breath in exhale i'm going to get you to stretch and push your legs against the towel or the band and just lengthen up a bit more at the same time what i'm doing is that i'm pulling with my arms so that my toes are reaching towards me I hold it there for about 5 to 10 seconds and then I relax and again breathe in and I stretch the back of my knees down I pull my toes towards me and I breathe in and breathe out and release one more to go and breathe in and exhale I'm stretching my toes towards me my feet or my heels are going away from me and release now i am going to add on the stretch and bring a little bit more to my hamstrings take a breath in exhale i'm going to push my heels against the towel or the band and with my arms now i'm going to bring my body down and pull myself down and forward but as i keep pushing into my ankles i'm going to feel a bit more stretch on the hamstring and I release and lengthen. Breathing in, exhale again, I gently pull myself forward and I stretch into the heels. Try to hold each stretch for at least five to 10 seconds. Taking deep breaths in and out and release and lengthen up. And one more to go, breathe in, exhale and reach forward a bit more. For those of you who are getting more flexible you can afford to walk your hands down the towel or the band and then pull yourself even closer down to your legs and then you'll get a full stretch on your hamstrings and your calves and then slowly release and recover now let's move on to one leg now i'm going to just place one foot into the band or towel and the other leg is going to be bent now this time around i'm going to just hold it with two hands for the first part and i'm going to do a flex and pointing movement with my foot this way just basically getting a bit of mobility into my ankle all right so if you're holding the towel and it doesn't have the gift that the flex band does that's fine as well okay so let me just show it once with the towel so that for those of you who are using the towel at home you know how to do this so you can just hold on to it and just grab it like that and it just flex and point so basically every time the toes come back towards you you are adding a bit of pulling sensation with the arms to get a bit more stretch on the calves actually you know what with the towel i'm feeling more stretch because i'm able to control the stretch with my arms a bit more now we're going to add on to doing a little circle for the circle you're going to just open your arms a bit wider and just allow the leg to move gently rotating and basically having a little bit of um, what we call proprioception or feedback from the towel and the band really helps you to go a bit further into your mobility work. Okay, and then don't forget to reverse. Do about five in each direction. Okay, take some time. Don't forget to add the pulling sensation through your arms. 
and five. Good. And let's move on to the other leg. Starting now with a flex and point. You're going to reach into your heels first. And from here, point and then flex. Point the toes and flex. So for the mobility work, you don't really have to hold the position for too long. All right. So just getting that movement, getting the stretch as you flex your ankles. Don't forget to add a bit of pulling on the arms. Good. And then from here, open your arms a bit wider and let's move into the circle. Gently rotating the ankle in one direction for about five times. And now reverse it the other way around and stretch. And five. Good. And that was for your ankles and your calves. Now from here, we're going to move on. I'd like you to come down into this position where your legs are bent and then from here we're going to just turn out the legs this way and just allow yourself to get something like what we call a butterfly position with your legs so i'm going to continue facing sideways so that you can see what my spine is doing i'm trying to sit up tall but at the same time i'm trying to just open up the legs by gently bouncing the knees now we call this the butterfly in a lot of kids exercises but this is really really good for adults as well especially if you want to create more mobility in the hip joint area and you know how these muscles can get really tight if you sit for too long then once you got this movement you can start to add a little bit of work here by sitting up tall take a breath in and exhale we're going to lean forward keep your back straight Take a deep breath in and then slowly roll yourself up and lengthen. I'll do that one more time. Breathe in and slowly lean forward, stretch. And exhale to roll yourself up and lengthen up. One more to go. Breathe in and exhale, leaning forward in a straight back. Continue to keep the knees out to the side. And exhale to roll yourself up and lengthen from the tail to your head. Good. Now from here, I'm going to get you to bring your legs together. And then bring yourself down into a lying down position here. So your spine is in neutral. Your pelvis is in a neutral position as well. Now from here, we're going to get your towel or your band back into position. And this time around, we're going to hook it over the ball of the feet one more time. Alright, and this time around, because your spine is anchored to the ground, you're going to feel a greater stretch around the hamstring area. So here we go, we're going to hold the towel tight. And now from here, we're going to push the legs up to the ceiling in this way. Don't forget to add a pulling sensation through your arms so that you're literally lengthening the calf muscles from the heel right to the back of the knee. And then you, you're also going to feel the hamstrings all the way down to the sit bones. Now, if you feel comfortable and you're able to do this, pull the leg closer to your body, but keep the knees as straight as you can. And then release. And again, and pull it stretch and release and one more time and pull it and hold it there knees as straight as possible heels are pushing up to the ceiling and release good and then from here we're gonna just take the towel with the hand that's on the same side as the leg and your other hand is gonna rest on the ground okay and from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open up my legs to the side you may not be able to see my leg here, but basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to stretch out my inner thighs. And as I do this, my other leg is going to also open out to the side here. Again, take a deep breath in and out. Hold that stretch for 5 to 10 seconds. Now slowly use the towel to pull that leg back and bring everything back to parallel. Now, we're going to continue the opposite hand. It's going to hold the towels now and then the hand that is on the same side is going to rest and this time around, I'm going to stretch my bottom leg and I'm going to just pull this over to the side. Now, this stretch is going to be really deep and it can be really painful for some people, okay? Because we are aiming for 
the lateral or the outer part of your thigh, which is somewhat hard to stretch. So this stretch is really useful if you have those niggling knee tightness here and you're not sure how to get rid of it, okay? This is one of those stretches that may really help you, all right? And you're allowed to keep the hips kind of lifted slightly but not um, too much, all right? So you're still thinking of reaching the sit bones, uh, sorry, the hips towards the ground, but the arms are pulling the leg in the opposite direction. And then release it and come back in. Okay, let's switch legs. Now from here, we're going to start again with the stretch of the calves first. We're going to reach the ankles up to the ceiling. With your hands, you're pulling close to your body. Breathe in and exhale, pull again. Keeping your hips grounded to the mat. And one more time, breathe in and exhale, stretch. Now, if you're flexible, you can pull the leg a little bit closer to your body, but make sure that your knees are stretched out at all times, okay? And then release. Now, from here, you're going to bunch the towels up and grab it with the arm on the same side. The other hand is going to be resting on the ground and I'm going to slowly open it up. Now, I don't have much space here because of the rack here, but I'm going to try my best to just keep the hips grounded and also allow the other knee to open up. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to equalize the stretch on the left and my right. But at the same time, this arm is pulling the leg down as low as I can handle it. And I hold that stretch for about 5 to 10 seconds. Breathe in and out. The slower and deeper you breathe, the more sickness you send to your body to relax and to lengthen. Okay, now slowly bring the leg back to the center. Don't forget to straighten the bottom leg. And now with the opposite hand, you're going to grab the towel and then slowly pull it across. And remember guys, keep the knees straightened as much as you can. Think of your bottom of your bottom reaching down to the ground. A slight lift is allowed, okay? But you want to basically feel the stretch on the outer part of your thighs. Nice and deep there. And slowly coming back to the center. Good. And let's finish up with two feet into the towel. We're going to start with a bare knees position. And this is just a simple work to finish up your stretches for today. All right. We're going to breathe in here. Keep your sacrum or your buttocks down on the ground and just stretch the legs up. Don't forget to push your heels up to the ceiling and then come down and release. Let's do this five times together. Exhale to stretch the heel and release. And exhale to push a little bit more and release. Exhale to drive the heels up more. Breathe in and return. And last one everyone and press the heels up. Hold it there. With your arms, keep pulling the leg closer and closer to your body. Whew. And release. Now, we're going to do one more. I'm going to get this towel. I'm going to position it this way. Okay, And my legs are going to be turned out like a diamond shape. And then from here, I'm going to bring my feet together. And I'm going to pull this in and stretch. Opening up the knees as much as you can. And then from here, I'm going to press my legs up and bend. And stretch and bend. You can also open up the towel this way and bend. Okay, and press. And five. And I come back to the center. And I can't release and recover. Good. And let's finish up our stretches for today and with the buttock stretch. Alright, so the buttock stretch is going to be one leg crossing over the other leg, keeping your hips down and then you bring the thighs in. Your hands are going to thread through one on the outside of the thigh, one between the legs and you're going to wrap your fingers around your thighs and pull it as close as you can to your body. 
Now, don't forget the stretch is not on this leg. It's actually on the buttock and piriformis on the other leg that is bent. So this knee, I want you to try to push that knee away as far as you can and at the same time bringing the other leg close to your body. And then hold that stretch again for 5 to 10 seconds. If you want to go for longer, like 30 seconds, that's fine as well, guys. Okay? As long as it needs for you to release those tight muscles. And I'm going to slowly relax and then change over to the other side. So now the stretch is going to be felt on this butt cheek here. I'm going to bend the knee and then the other leg is going to be bent as well at 90 degrees. My hands are threading through, hold on and pull. Now I'm also going to make sure that this knee here is pushing outward so that I feel the stretch on the outer part of my hip. And I'm at the same time, I'm pulling this leg towards myself to increase the stretch for my bottom. And then hold it there. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And there you go. That is your little stretching routine. And I hope you like that. Okay, if you want to learn more about the lower extremity and how to stretch some other parts of the muscles, some, uh, some other parts of the legs, do let me know and I'll try to record it for you as well. Take care everyone. See ya.